Hey guys, welcome back to more Final Fantasy X2 HD Remaster. I'm gonna say it remaster now, not remake, because yeah. <laughs> Anywho, we uh, we just got our dress sphere back, which is the thing we use to change clothes and change attacks. But with that, we will talk to some people. So, his name is Shinra. His his name is actually Shinra. Shinra's in our bed. He's a real whiz kid. Creature creator, the new thing that uh, we can see something about getting creatures and stories and things. Creatures? <laughs> yeah. I'm a little worried that this uh, loading screen is going to be like an extra loading screen that pops in now for the entire game. <laughs> View the creature creator tutorial. Creature creator to you. Uh, fiend arena, a secret base that I created. Somewhere in your mind. Take the red pill. This is where you capture you put captured fiends into this into teams and train them. Fiends are reincarnations of humans who couldn't make it to the far plane. My objective is to train fiends and learn the secrets of the fiend tale. No okay, thank you. So you have to go to capture fields. So you have to trap one, you go to a capture field. Interesting. Fly, birdie, fly oh. Trap pod S has been supplied. I'll explain the creature trapping. Set trap pods in areas that may be home to many fiends. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm not moving. There are four types of trap pods at all. S, M, L, the size, so small, medium, large, and S, P. Target specific enemies, including humanoids. <laughs> Carry up to eight trap pods, you won't be supplied more than eight. Try capturing. We have to capture brother. What? Okay, so we go Luca. Luca attracts fiends from all over, but trap pod SPs often don't do the job. Okay. The trap pod SP, you would have to specify specify what fiend species you want to trap, brother. <laughs> okay. You. Can round up trap fiends using R1. Interesting. So we're going to trap, bro. This is this is like all new. It's like it's like everybody said a trap pod. So why was he dancing? <laughs> Allow into to wings. And you can rename him to brother. See, yes. I don't know why I'd ever want to rename him. Trap pod test was a success. Fiends are varying affinities for each other. You can't catch a certain kind. Try releasing a fiend you've already caught. So if I have like a brother, I can't catch a, a sister. <laughs> oh man, now we develop it, give it items, accessories. This is becoming complicated. Like this was not in the PS2 version of the North American release. Is it? Items and accessories, select creatures. Oh, do I already have three, or are they just showing me three? Because that'd be cool if I had a behemoth already. So many items. Creature status, you will have parameter changes. So it gives it certain commands with the items you give it. Does it learn it over time? Either times two to learn magicide. So it automatically tells me how many it would take. And raise MP by one. So that's cool. Could you learn a maximum of four commands? Oh. Great. Now I get to. Oh, you can unlearn. Never mind. We're all good. Health preserver. Wait, so, oh, he has those under his magicite? That's interesting. Learn more about their fiend tail. Creature history. Oh man, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Okay, fiend tail. When a fiends complete their fiend tail, they can be unleashed. Fiend tail unleashed. 
see its secret fiend tail ending. After viewing its fiend, fiend tail ending, the creature has added the bestiary. So you have to up, like, develop it until it. What? If you want to change the name of the fiend or release it from service, go to the name, name creature. If you press R1, you can change the name of the creature's teams as well. When you release the fiend you're from your service, it, its experience and learned abilities will not be recorded, so be careful. Well, that's dumb. Train level up, blah, 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 blah. Go to the fiend arena. Enter his tournaments. We have trap pods as rewards. So you have to go to the tournaments to earn trap pods. That's interesting. Creature battles. This tutorial will teach you how to how to have creatures you've captured participate in battle. Like actually in battle with me or... Oh man, yeah. I can add them as party members. Are you going to put brother in my battle? Of course you're going to go for the stupid flan. Yes, I understand. You don't have to take this part. This is really easy. You just click and then move. Three small creatures, M size creatures are equal to two small size creatures. L size creatures are three small size creatures. Put one M size creature into the team. Does it get rid of, oh, it gets rid of two people? So <laughs> my people are called small? So I could play a whole battle as just Behemoth, just, just this guy. <laughs> By the way, just like move all, all members and members from the team. However, at least one creature must be selected for battle to take place. So does that mean if I have that, so nobody can attack me? That's interesting. Oh, what? Wait a minute, what? A dress sphere? <laughs> so Nashhorn is gonna be a thief? What? Does he change clothes too? Yes, we can give them accessories. I understand. I understand. Friendly creatures will appear in a circle of light. Shinder creature, creatures make their own decisions. About, oh, that's stupid. Uh, commands rather than creatures that just joined you will use commands rather than freely and randomly. Practice makes perfect, as they say. Creatures will grow smarter as they fight, learning one command, which commands are optimal. <laughs> I'm going to run away. No, that's not what I want you to do. <laughs> Up is the cheer gauge. Cheer gauge shows the motivation of star symbols and moves as well. Creatures motivation. Motivation is high. Creatures are aggressive and do more damage. So I can cheer them on. I don't feel like attacking. <laughs> Abilities and leveling up, just like regular characters. Okay, so I do have to have them in battle for them to level up. Uh, so when they attack, that's interesting. Creatures cannot only learn command abilities, but also passive abilities as well. Creature battles. Okay, that was that was something. I'm probably gonna go into that a little bit more depth, like off camera. But you guys don't need to see all that. That's Basically, it's... Well, thank you for those. It's, uh, that was... It's something new. That's definitely... Not something that was in the old game. Alright, wait, I do want to talk to you again. You do know everything. Uh, Shinder's Guide to Everything. No, Shinder's Species, Dossiers, Treasure Spheres. We'll skip all those. Let's go down and talk to Brother, because he seemed to have been freaking out. No, go talk to... Go over here. That was ridiculous. He really has improved quite a bit. He told me that he practiced just so that he could talk with me more. So we can go digging for Abed Primers in the Bicanel Desert. Basically, it's like uh, Final Fantasy X if you've played that, where you get these primers and it teaches you a letter. So when you're reading, you can see the letters will be a different color. You can actually read what they're saying, but they still Let's say it in their voice. Party. It's kind of cool, but uh, it's kind of fun to not know what they're saying and figure it out, too. You scored the Festivalist Dress Sphere? Okay, that one's new also. What the flip is a... Garment Grids, First Steps, okay. 
Uh, currently, you want to ring your gestures? Yes, I do. What the flip is the festivalist? That is that is new. That is that is something special. But you can rearrange them, and uh, so that if you want a certain one to be in the middle, so you can always jump to all the other ones. That's it's yeah. Let's go talk to Riku. Having fun? Lots. You bet. It all began when I saw this sphere of you. At least it looked like you. I couldn't say for sure. I thought I might find more spheres like it if I joined the Gullwings, so I did. Oh, in case you're wondering, the Gullwings are sphere hunters, and sphere hunters are, well, <laughs> this. We fly all over Spira. I'm really enjoying myself. Glad to hear it. For a while there, I was starting to feel like a kidnapper. <laughs> Don't be silly. So yes, we are sphere hunters, which Still should explain. Oh. Buddy and brother, brother are said. old friends. Buddy says he was aboard Sid's airship with us two years ago. I believe he's in my book. When I told him I didn't remember, he seemed disappointed. Oh, I am now bed primer. So now I can maybe understand what they were saying a little bit more. But alright, I don't oh I have one more to is pain. I look up to her as a sphere hunter. And also as a friend. I still don't know her very well. She's not exactly the talkative type. It's the best I kind. heard she joined the Gullwings shortly before I did. Riku doesn't know much about her either. What now? Talk to Nothing. me. I find you interesting. Alright, so I believe that's about it. But I don't know if we can leave. I think we're... Leave the, the room... We're gonna explore the ship a little bit. I think that's what they want us to do, so we will save real quick. New save data. Alright, so let's go. This is our ship. The beautiful, beautiful ship. That's all confusing. <laughs> uh, the cabin. We go to the cabin. Sphere hunters, however, we get missions in this game, and you have to go and find these spheres. And there's, there's like treasure spheres, and just along the way, you, you go and get these things. It's, I don't know why they're, it's such a thing. Like, I don't know what the major value is. It's like they're treasure hunters almost. Miss you, now what can I do for you? And this is the barkeep. The barkeep Our is barkeep's interesting. A hypella. No one knows his real name, so everyone just calls him Barkeep. Brother took him in, and now he works aboard the airship. The gold store. He's, uh, he, he just, he does a shh, everything just always with a shh noise, it's, 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 uh, it's kind of special. But, uh, there's, there's stuff, we don't need any of it, so, yeah. Thank you. You go up here, you can also rest here if you ever want to refill. Um, I thought there was, like, a chest or something up here at one time, but I don't believe so. There's always chests near beds in this kind of game. <laughs> oh, you wanted that? To okay. Jump down, jump down, jump. Hurry up and jump. Let me show you a way you can jump down. Oh, wait. You can't. But, yeah. So you can rest there. And shop, but... Yes. Report to the bridge! Oh, I can go to the deck. So, it does not show you the level you're on. So you actually cannot go to the same level. I was... I thought I was on the deck, and that's where I was, but... It makes sense now that they wouldn't let you do and go somewhere that you are already at. <laughs> Ugh, I wish there was a jump button. That's all I need is a jump button. Come on. Treasure sphere waves. I They're coming that. from those ruins they found at Gagazet. All right. Hot, cut up. Gagazet. So, that right there is how you can try and read what they say. <laughs> so the more you get, the more pink letters there'll be, and the pink letters are the correct ones that you can like decipher. It's like it's almost like Wheel of Fortune. It's kind of cool. Sphere hunt. So sphere hunt. Well, as you can see on the map, there a little the word hot popped up, and you can go to those those hot spots, and that's where you want to go. Eventually, you kind of get like six of them, and you can choose which which uh, area you want to go to, and kind of just choose Mount your own Garset, path. Silent guardian of Xanarkand, city of the dead. When the faith disappeared. The clouds enshrouding the mountain began to thin and disperse. 
revealing long forgotten ruins among its peaks. <gasps> hey, the rocks are floating! Don't tell me we gotta climb up that thing! No worries, I'll take you to the top. Let's see, this guy, this guy is a good guy. All the other ones are like, no, you're starting at the bottom. Let me climb up that thing and I'll just pick you up up there later. It's not like I couldn't get up. Now this is a mission. These are, these are something special. Oh, those eyes. Yuna! Falling is one of those things you don't want to do. What's your status? Disaster Rhythmic! Disaster Rhythmic is not a word. Say disaster us like the rest of Spira. I'm not listening. Riku, come in. You want me to hurt him? Close. Just a little bit. He kind of fell off a building. A mountain, actually. We're here. Everything's fine now. Yuna, keep an eye on Rico. You got it. Ta-da! All right, guys. That is going to be the end of part two. And part three, we will explore this wonderful mountain and finish mission number one. So let's go get our first dress sphere next time. Till then. TLG out.